Welcome to Wattix. In this video, we will cover the features of the Measurement and Verification tab. Wattix offers an innovative tool for measurement and verification of energy savings to streamline your ISO 50001 projects, energy performance contracts, or any other energy efficiency projects where savings must be proven. This tool allows you to centralize and standardize the projects following the International Standard IPMVP, or International Performance Measurement and Verification Protocol. If you want to create a new project, select the new M&V Project button. Enter the name and select option B or C. Option B indicates a project affecting a part of the plant, whereas option C indicates a change affecting the whole plant. You can choose to make it public or private to other users. Let's use an existing example where a variable speed drive was installed on a potato chips production line. Here we will follow a step-by-step -step guide. In the project definition, enter the name of the project, its expected cost, and the summary. The text box may include project details, pictures, or any context for the project. Energy conservation measures are installation or upgrades created in this plant. You can create as many ECMs as you want. Enter the name, reference, installation start and finish dates, and the description. Once you create it, it will appear as a variable here, and you can remove it or create more. You can link two existing ECMs together you have already created in another project if you want to track multiple projects together. The baseline period is selected to characterize the energy used before the energy conservation measure. Link to one of the circuits monitored such as compressor 1 or 2. You can also import energy use data from CSV files if no meter monitors the target area or equipment. Once the data is uploaded, it will show on the graph on the right. Once baseline is imported, the reporting period will let you decide how long you want to record and monitor energy use after the energy conservation measure. You can justify why you want to report for that duration in the description. The Routine Adjustment section allows you to import any measurements for factors that routinely vary and significantly affect energy use, such as operations and weather conditions. In this case, two key independent variables were imported. Variables such as production or the kilograms of potato chips process can be uploaded by linking to a different source. Otherwise, you can upload the data via CSV file again. By clicking on Correlation, we can discover whether the production and the consumption are related or not. As kilograms increased, the consumption also increased. If there is a good correlation, we should use this for our energy calculation. Report the time periods that you want to exclude in non-routine adjustments. These may include holidays, strike days, or any other day not relevant for reporting. This can be done by creating a new static factor. After inputting all of the information in the previous steps, the system is able to create a mathematical model of your energy use as a function of the registered variables. The report plots the best formula in terms of energy model to be used for the validation of your savings and calculates the total correlation factor. The system processes and plots the data in the savings tab. In the baseline period, the blue dots represent the energy use calculated by the mathematical model. In this example, we can see that the mathematical model offers an accurate representation of the measured energy use, represented in green. In the reporting period, the blue dots represent what the energy use would have been if the energy conservation measure would not have taken place. The green dots represent the measured consumption after the energy conservation measure. Below the figure, values summarize the annualized energy and cost avoided by the energy efficiency project, which are typically called the savings. It will also tell you the payback period, which is calculated using the estimated project costs inputted in step 1. Additional and final details may be included in the executive summary. You can download the m &B report here or anytime in the main menu for internal review for your customer or for application for white certificates and energy saving credits. The look and feel of this report can be changed to fit your company's logo and company colors. Thank you for watching. Learn more about each of the tabs on the Wattix dashboard by watching our other instructional videos. If you have any questions, please visit our website or contact us at support at